Good morning, lovely people. Here we are, Tuesday morning, and uh, yeah, still recovering from the healing weekend. A fabulous time, and uh, but back to normality now and getting on with it. So it's just great. So daily card. Here we go. We're going to give them a shuffle and uh, see where it takes us, what unfolds. And bear in mind that these daily cards are just suggestions. They're thought-provoking. Um, they're just an element where we may approach the day slightly different um, because, you know, every action creates a reaction. It's the difference that makes a difference. So they are kind of like trying to get you... The mind controls how we are, what we do. But, you know, it's kind of the brain has this vastness to it, if you like, that we don't really tap into. Um, there are so many facets that actually has an influence on the mindset. So let's see where it goes. We're going to give this a shuffle. We're going to stop. We're going to look, take the cards and we're going to pull one out. Now I feel there's nothing by chance, nothing by coincidence. Everything has a meaning and a reason. And we have the card of creation. Here we go. The card of creation. I truly love this card. The original painting is probably as tall as me. And maybe about three foot wide. And, and it represents... And we have this blanket of colour. Uh, and we have this... Which... I felt it's something like a, a Mohican Indian um, wrapped in this blanket. Uh, and it's creation. What an interesting element. Creation is, is an action. It's a doer. You know, whether I'm painting a picture or whether I'm making a cake, it's actually taking the ingredients of the paints or the ingredients for the cake and actually putting something together and actually creating something that for myself or for everyone so the creative energy is a really wonderful wonderful influence in our lives and, and it's what we do with that but it's very much about action it doesn't talk it's there to bring about it's there to create the word create and um, but the interesting thing about it you know i do believe that we all have the creative flair in one form or another there's a hundred different ways to create and we all have that, but it takes action. And, you know, this, this element of rolling up one's sleeves and doing it, getting on with it, making something. Don't talk about it no more. Actually make those physical steps and bring it about. But there's three forms to this card. There's four, three forms to the creative energy. One of them is the creative flair, whichever way that may be. The other one's to... Think about is creating me. The 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 in you know this is something that we truly own. It's 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 one. It's ourself. It really is that element. No one can take this away. But a lot of people struggle with the self, with the element of of you know who and what we are. And really, we we got to try to overcome that struggle of, of what we are, who we are, whatever that represents. You know, because we all have that, whether it's emotional, physical, spiritual, those struggles are with everyone just in different ways. You know, we all have our fears, we all have our challenges that we're dealing, you know, whether they're inwards and no one can see them or whether they're outwards and everyone can see them. We all have them in some form. And, uh, and, and it's what we do that, but we are in the body that we are given. And we've got to learn to love and nurture and care for that body. Uh, the other one is to create the future. So the creative flair and, and actually bringing something about. And we all have that ability. We then to create ourselves and to create the future. The, the interesting thing with creation is that a lot of people would look towards their future for, you know, that's, that's what I would like. Or that's where, you know, I want to go and all those elements coming into play. And they actually forget themselves. They forget that they play a part in reaching that future wish, goal, dream, destiny. And you see, it all starts with oneself. So the more you think about creating you, the more you're creating your future. 
do not forget this. It starts in the present. It starts in the now. And it starts with oneself. It's, it's kind of like a, it's such a powerful thing. But the thing we have to bear in mind, and I always say this to people, is, is the observation. Observation is, is, plays a role key because oneself doesn't always work in the world. It's, it, you know, I have a perspective of myself, but does everyone around me have that same perspective? And the, per the perspective that people have of me, is it working for me? Now, I might be very happy with me. And they often, you know, I often hear, and probably you often hear, I'm not changing. There's nothing wrong with me. It's everyone else. Well, sometimes that's very true. Yes, but sometimes it isn't. How I am and what I'm projecting is not working in tune. It's not helping me for my future. And that's fine if you wish it to be that way, but it does start with this. And the wonderful thing is, it's very, very exciting, but we have to be aware of the observation of reaction of oneself within the world. Because, you know, it's the saying is, it's not what I know, it's who I know. And I know the world shouldn't tick that way, but unfortunately it does. So, you know, it's what I attract to me that opens doorways or even closes doors. Because we all know that, you know, the people that we meet, can they can take and they can give. And unfortunately, there is quite a lot of takers out there within the world. Um, but there's also some beautiful givers. We just have to monitor that. So the card of creation is a wonderful, wonderful energy. It's the ability to bring something about and to make something happen. And it's the colour black. Now, black holds everything. All colours are in there. The same is within each and every one of us, there is so much. But we don't always see it or know it. And sometimes we have to live our life. You know, we are in a constant change, but those changes are great. It's like growth. You know, as we grow up, there is a change. People see those changes. My word, haven't you grown? So we have to grow in order to see more of who we are. Life experiences dictates those as well along the way. So we have to take those elements. But within each of us, there is so much. And sometimes I may have to live another year to find another facet of who I am. So the colour black is, a, you know, black can be associated with uncertainty, unsureness, of course, you know, feeling lost. Um, but it is the colour of mystery. That's the thing. It is the colour of mystery and magic. And, you know, it's kind of like, it owes so much. I'm not going to rant on about it because I want to keep these videos relatively short. It's just a burst, but it is about creating. And today is an opportunity to create in one form or another. Explore it. Anyway, have a good day. God bless. And, um, and we'll see you somewhere. Take care.